Hello coders, welcome to Refresh Coding. My name is Madhulika and in this video we are going to talk about how to work with IAM instance profile role uh, while working with Elastic Beanstack. So in the previous video we have discussed how we can deploy a Spring Boot jar in Elastic Beanstack. So we will just continue with that example and we will see how we can create the IAM role. So here I will log into my uh, AWS management console and I will quickly go to Elastic Beanstack. And here in Elastic Beanstack what we will do, we will create an application and here just select the web server environment because we are going to deploy a web application so let's say i will give the application name as demo eb you can give any name not a problem after that automatic it will create demo eb dash env managed platform only we will use we because we are going to work with a jar file so we will use java automatic it will take this thing so we will keep it default here we will quickly upload our code and okay i'll just select it once again after that we will go down down here we will keep single instance only not a problem because it is only for the demo purpose after that here is what is the main thing which we are going to do so what we need to do here is we will create and use a new service role and by default it will take this name aws elastic beanstack service role so we will keep it as it is this will be created automatic by default by your elastic beanstack but here we need one more instance profile role which you will have to create so here if you can read here it is written iam roles assumed by elastic beanstack as a service role and ec2 instance profile which is which allow elastic beanstack to create and manage your environment so we will quickly create this role so we will go to iam And here we will create a role. The problem is we want to create an instance profile role. So what we will do, we will say create role. And remember, we are not creating a user here. We are just creating a role which we will be choosing there. By default, it is a good practice that you create an IAM user and you work with it. So we will just take this role AWS service service as aws service and here since we are going to create it for ec2 instance profile so here we will select as ec2 and we will not select any particular service as of now i will just do next and here i will add certain policies with it so the first thing what i will do is I will add administrator access so that it should not create any problem in creating or maintaining the EC2 instance for your Elastic Beanstack. After that, I will just search for AWS Elastic and I will take this uh, permissions as web tire, worker tire, multi container docker, and role worker tire also we will take rds also if you want to work with rds and sns after that one more very very important role which will will take is administrator access administrator access for aws elastic beanstack and we will just add this so i will do next and here you will have to give a role name so let's say this is ec2 in instance profile and role a any you can give it any name that's not a problem i'm just giving it like this so that you understand why we are creating this role and after this this particular select trusted entities will come we will not touch it it will be as it is after that we will if you want to add some more permissions or edit you can do it from here but right now it's all okay so we will not touch it after that if you want to add some tags you can add they are optional create role 
so it will take some time and your role will be created and immediately if you can see role easy to instance profile role is created if you want to view the role you can view it and here if you can see easy to instance profile role you can see after that we will come back to our beanstack and here we will try to select the role Next. and here we will just keep it as it is and here uh, yeah now if you can see we are getting our instance profile role we will quickly select it we will do next rest of the things we will keep on default configuration we will not do anything here we will we are not using any custom vpc or anything so we will keep it default only we will quickly do next next here the root volume and all those things also container default only security group also default okay again next health monitoring and all those things also we will keep default only again we will do next 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 okay one more thing very very important we will add an environment property here as you remember our jar file is running on port 8080 so we will just quickly add it here otherwise we will get the 502 bad gateway error while running the application so just next we will just verify everything and everything is fine and we will say submit and it will take some time to launch the environment so you can see here now our environment successfully launched and uh, it has created a ec2 instance for us it has added instance if you can see this one so that is why we require that role because it allows your elastic beanstack to create and launch an ec2 instance for you and if you can see here logs and monitoring everything is there it is working fine health if you can check here you can see your instance id your instance status is okay and it is running fine after this we will quickly click on this link and we are getting white label error page that means our application is deployed we will just run the url quickly which is welcome oh, sorry small letters and there you go welcome to elastic beanstack that is what we have created in our application if you remember in the previous video we have discussed so it is running fine so that means our elastic beanstack is working properly so in this video we have seen how we can create this iam instance profile role for working with elastic beanstack remember this aws service uh, elastic beanstack service role will be created automatic no need to worry so that's it in this video if you like it please like the uh, like the video and uh, share it and subscribe to the channel thank you